So I just tried asking uh, Dr. Ben Carson about the war on drugs. Now he's a doctor, so you'd think that he'd have like a really good perspective on the medical side of drug abuse. My perception is he did a little bit of a dodge with what I was asking. Um, I understand he's pressed for time, but um, he said some very worrying things about cannabis. He said he believes it's a gateway drug. Presumably he still wants to keep it illegal. Um, the impression I got from what he just said was that he thinks that selling drugs should remain a crime, but that consuming it should not be. Um, I mean, obviously that means that there's still going to be a war on drugs if you're going after drug dealers. Uh, if the marketplace is open, or if the marketplace is, if they try to close the marketplace and prevent people from selling drugs, um, that just makes it profitable. That just makes it the incentive higher to sell them. Um, and that's something I think these politicians don't understand is that you can't legislate away a, a demand. That's what the market is. It's people have a demand for a product. People will fulfill that demand. Um, so I would point out that uh, the fact that these, these things are being kept illegal and uh, while there's any sort of penalties, you, I mean, like, you can't break it down with like, oh, well, this type of use of this drug is illegal and this one is uh, not so much. It's like either we're going to empty the prisons of peaceful people or we're not. Selling drugs is not an inherently dangerous act unless you're selling very dangerous drugs. And nobody would be selling very dangerous drugs if those same products were available safely um, at a pharmacy um, or anywhere that people could get them that's not somebody's apartment um, or some alleyway or the street. Uh, so, he's, uh, you know, Mr. Carson, I guess, is a more traditional conservative guy. Uh, he has some funky views on evolution, like, he doesn't believe in it. Um, so it's a little sad to see someone who is so smart and talented and intelligent uh, and accomplished in their field have these, I'd say, very backwards views on, uh, I don't know, I consider it a pretty simple issue. Like, every, they've been fighting the war on drugs for how long now? Has anything changed? No. I mean, people are still overdosing. Um, people are getting locked up all the time still. How much of our prisons are filled with drug-related offenses, be it selling or possession, either way. Um, so take that power away from the criminal element. Enable people to buy what they need safely in the proper dosages. Um, enable, or another way of doing it, like the, I believe it's the Netherlands that has it set up, where you can use heroin in a controlled environment. And by doing that, they're taking away the social aspect of this drug abuse. So I'd hope that this is something that um, these politicians consider more. I mean, honestly, I don't expect uh, Mr. Carson's campaign is gonna go very far. And uh, unfortunately, the person whose campaign goes far will probably be just as bad as all of these other people that we've had to deal with. Um, that's why I advise that people support and endorse Vermin Supreme. He's the only honest candidate running. And uh, free ponies, man, who can argue with that?